Hey, Yoga and Fitness friends, thanks for joining me on the mat today. If you are new to the channel, I'm Vicki with Uplift Yoga and Fitness, and I am so grateful that you are here. Today's class will help you to de-stress and refresh, um, and it is a yoga and pranayama class, meaning we will do some yoga, and then we will come down and focus on some breath work. Uh, so you can take whatever portion you need and go about your day feeling de-stressed and refreshed. If you're using essential oils with me today, I've got Peace and Calming from Young Living, which I like to use in a roller bottle just to help dilute it a little. And I just take a little roll in a couple of the pulse points, a nice deep inhale so that I can get that peace and calming effect. All right, let us begin. Join me in child's pose. While you're getting situated, I should tell you that if you have a block today or a block-like object, that might come in handy, but it is not required. All right, so finding child's pose, the sit bones find the heels, the arms extend, the forehead comes to the mat. Here, we will begin to focus on our breathing. Nice deep inhale. Nice, full exhale. Just noticing where the breath is at this present moment. like to set an intention for your class today. It could just be finding that word or mantra that works for you, that resonates with you today. Again, the theme is de-stress and refresh. Maybe it's just the word calm or peace. Taking one more deep inhale here. As you exhale, walk the hands back as the torso comes up. And we'll stay here in kneeling position for a moment as we take our first pranayama practice, which is an esoteric alternate nostril breathing. So we're not doing the manual closing off of the nostrils, we're just imagining the air moving in and out of one nostril and then the other. So we've got five breaths, but let's take a nice cleansing breath before we start. Deep inhale, nice full exhale. Sit up a little straighter, let the shoulders slide down. And as you inhale, now imagine the air just coming in the left nostril. And as you exhale, imagine just coming out the right. Now in the right, out the left, in the left, out the right, in the right, out the left, in the left, out the right, in the right, out the left. Turn to your normal breath here. Just notice the effects of just that subtle practice of breath work there. All right, meet me in tabletop position. Hands and knees with the hips stacked over the knees and the shoulders all over the rest. The fingers are spread wide. Tops of the feet press into the mat. We're loosening the spine here with some cat cows. Inhale, let the belly soften down as you lift the gaze and exhale round the back pull the belly button upward again inhaling down 
Exhale it up. Once more. And after that full exhale, come back to that neutral spine. Take the sit bones to the heels, refining that child's pose, forehead to the mat. Deep inhale, full exhale. On the next inhale, ripple through table, but take the hips all the way down to a cobra pose. Looking up, and then exhale back to child's pose. Again, inhale, ripple through to unfurl, and then take it back, child's pose. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Pause here now, deep inhale. Full exhale. Next inhale, take it to table. Tuck the toes, slowly press the hips upward, downward facing dog. Knees can be bent here. Let the shoulder blades slide down the back and the biceps externally rotate. This creates space for the neck. And then bend the knees more. Look at the hands, step it forward. Top of the mat to fold. Bend the knees here. Unroll one vertebrae at a time. The shoulders come up, back, and down, the head coming up. We've got a few low lunge salutations to help warm the body. Inhale the arms up. Hands through center, bend the knees to fold. Inhale, flat back. As you exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, soften down into a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjana Asana. Belly button pulling in, tailbone descending down. And then hands through center, back foot stepping forward to fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, plant the hands, step the right. Soften down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Back foot forward. Fold. Inhale, root to rise, bend the knees, pull the energy up and into the heart. Let's try it one more time. Inhale, up. Hands down through center as we fold. Inhale, flat back. This time, plant the hands, step the right foot back. Soften down. Inhale, Anjana Asana. Hands through center. Back foot steps forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Plant the hands, step the left. Soften down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Back foot forward and fold. Bend the knees, root to rise. Arms up, hands to center. Very good. Now we're moving into sun aid, sun salutation aids. <clears throat> Inhale the arms up. Hands through center, bend the knees and fold. Inhale, flat back. Plant the hands here, step both feet back. Nice strong plank pose. Shoulder blades broadening across the back as the tailbone works its way down towards the heels. Feel the energy. Pull the belly button upward as you find downward facing dog. Once again, shoulder blades slide down the back, biceps externally rotate. Fly that right leg. Pull the knee into the nose here. Create the space by pressing into the hands, rounding the shoulders. Step the foot down. We're setting up for pyramid pose. So that back foot will step forward. Keep the feet hip width apart like you're standing on railroad tracks. Lift the torso up as you straighten through the leg. That right hip draws back, the left hip pulls forward. And then soften down, the head coming towards the knee. 
hands to the floor, or if you've got your block, of course you can have the hands to the block. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale up. Exhale, down. And fold. Block steps out of the way. Shift into the back heel, pops up. So you're into more of a runner's lunge. We're shifting into the standing balance here. So we're just going to take that back leg, bring it up as we come to stand. Simple knee into the chest here. Very nice. Slowly step it back to that lunge. Frame the foot, step to plank pose. Find that strong plank. Belly button pulls up as you find down the facing dog. Now we'll fly that left leg. Pull the knee in, create the space, step the foot down, setting up for pyramid pose on this side. Using the block if you choose, lifting up to straighten the leg, and exhale, fold it down. Feel that left hip drawing back, the right hip pulling forward, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold, and hold. Block moves out of the way, adjusting that back foot so you're more of a runner's lunge. We're going to move right into that standing balance. So a little hop, knee comes up as we torso, oh, as we lift the torso, hug the knee in. Then slowly take that right leg all the way back. Find your lunge. Step to plank. Belly button engaging as you lift it into downward facing dog. Cleansing breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. Exhale. Then bend the knees. Look at the hands. Step it forward. Forward fold. Bend the knees, root to rise, arms all the way up. Pull it into heart center. All right, so that same flow. This time we'll be moving into tree pose. <clears throat> so you know where we're going. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Hands down through center to fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step to plank. Find the strength in the pose, and then lift the hips and belly button, downward facing dog. Right leg flies. Pull the knee into the chest, create the space. Step it down as we set up for pyramid pose, back foot adjust. Lifting up to straighten the leg, square the hips. Exhale, drop it down. Holding. And then reposition that back foot into more of a runner's lunge. And then we'll create momentum. Pull the leg up either into the ankle, the calf, or the inner thigh as we find this tree pose. Belly button stays pulled in, equal pressure with a foot in the thigh. Hands can be to the heart center. Or if you're feeling ready and balanced, open the arms high. Let the pinky finger spin in into a beautiful tree. Lovely. Now pull that left knee in. Step it down. Oh, I'm sorry. Step it all the way back as we find our lunge and step to plank. Strong plank. Belly button engages as we find down dog. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Now flying that left leg, pull the knee in, create the space, step it down, setting up for pyramid pose, lifting up to straighten the leg, keep a micro bend in this leg, we don't want to hyperextend, exhale, fold it down, left hip drawing back, right hip pulling forward.
bending through that front knee as we kick the back heel up into our lunge, create the momentum, back foot steps all the way into that tree pose. Again, the heel to the ankle, the calf, or into the inner thigh, hands to heart center, and if you feel ready, open up. Very nice. Pull that knee in. Step it all the way back to find your lunge. Step to plank. Belly button engages, downward facing dog. Take a nice cleansing breath here. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Take the knees wide down to the mat here. Find the child's pose. Forehead to the mat. Tune into your breath. Notice the inhales. Becoming aware of the exhale. On your next inhale, coming up through table, unfurling into that cobra pose. We'll hold here for a couple of breaths, so elbows can be bent if you choose, more of an extended cobra pose, just to get a nice back bend if that's comfortable for you. But feel the tailbone descending toward the heels to help take any compression out of the low back. Belly button still engaged here. Slowly take it back through table. Find child's pose. Nice slow movement. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, walk the hands back as we come into this kneeling position. Here we'll find Gomukhasana arms. So helping to open up the shoulders, maybe release a little bit of tension, helping with that de-stress nature. So we'll start with our left arm. Just reach it up, bend at the elbow. Take the right hand to the top of that elbow, gently Press the chest forward as you lean the head back. So a simple tricep stretch here. You can stay here, or if you want to try Gomukhasana arms, you'll take that right arm behind the back. And if you can't find the fingers, that's okay. Just press the hands into the back here. Letting the shoulders open. Head continues to press back. And then slowly release the arms. And we'll do the other side. So now our right arm comes up by that tricep stretch. Chest presses forward as the head leans back. Stay here or find the Gomukhasana option with the left arm coming around. The hands pressing flat into the back. As I continue to press the chest forward, leaning the head back. And then slowly release the arms. All right, let's move to our backs now. So opening up the shoulders, getting into the hamstrings and the hips a little, all help to Create some of that de-stress sensation. So as we come to our backs, keep your right foot planted to the floor with that knee bent. Take the left right up to the ceiling. Take a gentle pull on the leg, either from behind the thigh or behind the calf. And then we'll find the eye of the needle pose, the left ankle to the right knee. That left foot is flexed. Gently pull the right leg into the chest. The hands can come behind the thigh or to the shin. Both feet flex here as you gently pull the legs towards the torso.
Ten slow release. Take that left foot to the floor, the right foot to the ceiling. A gentle pull either behind the thigh or behind the calf. And then take that right ankle to the left knee, flexing the right foot. Left pulls into the torso, hands behind the thigh or the shin. And release that left foot down. Uncross the right. Take both feet to the ceiling here. So we are moving into shoulder stand and then plow pose. So take note here, try not, in fact, do not turn your head to look at the screen. So if you need to watch and then try, certainly do that, or just listen to the cues. Uh, but I certainly don't want you turning your head while we're in that position. So for shoulder stand, the hands come alongside the body, pressing down. You'll take a gentle rock in the feet, create momentum, slowly press into the hands, lifting the hips and feet. Hands come on either side of the low back for support. Try to take the hinge out of the hips, maybe walking the hands up the back a little more. Again, not turning the head from this position. And if you do have neck or shoulder issues, uh, be wise to not take this pose today. You can simply find a bridge pose or maybe some windshield wipers or just resting. All right, from here, slowly hinge at the hips as we move to plow pose. So slow and control here. The feet come behind the head. They may or may not touch down. The arms extend out behind you. Focusing the breath. Now to return to our backs from plow pose. Engage the arms. You're going to use the core here. You'll slowly unwind. Again, using the arms, pressing in the belly button, doing work as we slowly lower the hips down. Slowly then lower the legs to extend out in front of you and we'll counter that work with fish pose. So coming up onto the forearms, elbows stack underneath the shoulders here. Shoulders roll back as you lift the chest. The head can be lifted up here or leaning back if that feels okay on the neck. So again, countering the plow and shoulder stand positions. And then slowly returning to the back. Take the right knee into the chest for Apanasana. Softening into the pose. And then take the knee across the body here. The right arm reaching behind for a supine twist. The gaze towards the ceiling or look out at that extended arm. And then turn the center. Extend the right leg, pull the left knee into the chest, soften into the pose. Take the knee across the body. The left arm extends behind. The gaze to the ceiling, or look at that extended arm. and return to center here. <clears throat> we'll find Shavasana. 
So extend the feet to the corners of the mat. The arms comfortably away from the body. I always like to give my hips a little shimmy, maybe my arms and legs a little wiggle just to work out any of the last remaining energies. And then soften down into this will be a fairly brief Shavasana before we practice our alternate nostril breathing. So coming back to that intention, if you set one at the beginning of class, or just relaxing into that, into that idea of de-stressing and then refreshing. You are more than welcome to stay in the Shavasana pose for as long as you need. You can always pause the video before moving on to the breath. Otherwise, if you're moving with me here, just take some movement to the wrists and the ankles, the fingers and the toes. Slide the ankles together to touch, reach the arms overhead. Slowly pull one knee into the chest and then the other. Take a gentle sway from side to side. And then we'll roll to come up to sit. So now we'll be moving into our alternate nostril breathing, which helps to cleanse the respiratory system and balance both sides of the brain, the left and the right of the brain, helps to relieve stress and anxiety, calming the mind and developing concentration. So just a quick demo in case you've not done alternate nostril breathing before. We take our right hand and the uh, forefinger and the middle finger come down. The thumb comes to the right nostril and the ring finger comes to the left nostril. So as we're alternating, here will be uh, with the thumb and the ring finger. So we'll start by coming in through the left, then closing off, exhaling out the right, stay, inhale the right and out the left. So we'll take 10 total breaths, beginning and ending on the left side. All right, take a nice cleansing breath to prepare. Inhale and sit up a little straighter, exhale, the shoulders slide down, bring the right hand to, uh, to the face and then take the right thumb to the nostril. So deep inhale through the left, ring finger to the left, exhale out the right. Inhale right, seal the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left, seal, open the right, exhale, inhale right, seal, open the left, exhale, inhale left, seal, open the right, exhale, inhale right, close, exhale left. Inhale left, 
close, exhale right, inhale right, close, exhale left, inhale left, close, exhale right, last breath, inhale right, close, exhale left, release the hand down, return to your normal breathing here, notice any difference in the breathing and the way the breath feels coming in or going out. Very nice. Bring your hands to heart center as a symbol of gratitude towards yourself today for taking time for this de-stress and refresh yoga practice. So I hope that you can take the refreshing portion off your mat into your day. Bring the chin to the chest. I offer you peace, love, and gratitude. Namaste.